Hey kids, we're back with another Dollar Tree date night. Except this time it's Dollar Tree date day. Mid morning. So I shot one of these two days ago, and the movie I chose, I just, I had to scrap it. Let's see what this firstborn movie is all about, shall we? I can't believe it. The Chinese are exporting babies now. Co co co. They are Korean. Wait, what? Okay, I'm sorry. I I just could never tell the difference between the two. <gasps> Okay. I knew all along I shouldn't have been doing it and that I should have gone with my gut, stopped recording, and done the movie that we're doing today, which is... Oh shoot, I don't have the DVD. Today we're gonna do Breakin'. Where Breakin' was born. It looks way better than you got served. It does, and it looks better than Teen Star Academy. And it definitely looks better than Firstborn, which is what I did the other day. <laughs> oh, wow. What? It's got Boogaloo Shrimp in it. Boogaloo Shrimp and Pogo Sticks? Michael Boogaloo Shrimp Chambers. <laughs> yeah, dude. Seen okay. him in a minute. We got Bugles. I found Blueberry Ginger Kombucha at Dollar Tree. Hot fries, salsa picante. I got these Tapatio hot fries, but I opened them in the last video. All right, guys, Dollar Tree date night. Dang it. Okay, and we're ready for some break dancing. We're doing this. Let's go. Come on, Kelly, let's go. Let's get the hot food out to the customers. <laughs> You stupid mom! Okay, so so far we have Kelly, who appears to be the main character. She works at a diner, but her friend just thinks that she deserves more from life. You know, she... Needs to leave that grease trap. You're slaving away in this grease trap and you're not dancing. I'll die on my toes. <laughs> dancing or uh, working here? Ouch. Kelly! I have to go. Kelly! <laughs> oh, look at the outfits. Oh, heck yeah. The underwear outside the leggings. You're looking better. Still gotta learn to relax, though. Creepy, dude. Let the music caress you. Nothing but the best for the best, huh, baby? I know someone who'd argue that point. That's what you get for being creepy, dude. Huh, baby? Cute, Kelly. Some people love you for your body. Me, it's your charming wit. <laughs> How cool clothes were. He's, his, his, it's a zipper that he undid to let his head through. <laughs> <laughs> really, Kelly, I think you'd love to meet these guys. They're terrific. I guarantee you they won't want you for your body. And this is her friend. I don't know what his actual name is, but it appears that Kelly calls him Cupcake. Cupcake. And he takes her to a fun teen beach party. <laughs> Look at her windbreaker, man. The wind don't stand a chance. Dang! Did you see those moves? <laughs> oh, I like that. <laughs> Dude, that's like I said. You got served ain't got nothing on this. Yeah. Omarion, dude. You got served is getting served. Why didn't you watch this first? Maybe he did. I feel like this is gonna be hard to make fun of because their moves are actually good. Oh, this is Kelly. You think that's Boogaloo Shrimp? Look at this guy. Everybody <laughs> Look at this girl. <laughs> I like the guy behind the pilgrim behind her. <laughs> There's a pilgrim? I think so. Jean Claude Van Damme. <laughs> Dang! My boy! Looking as good as ever. Pourquoi Jean-Claude? This must have been before his career really took off. No way, he was huge in the 80s. But he was just an extra. We'll see, maybe he just was filling in for a friend. Kelly, the mean machine right there, that's Turbo. Hey Kelly, this mean machine right here, that's Turbo. He's a mean machine. Hi! There are street names. All the dancers have them. Well then why do you get so upset when I call you Cupcakes? <laughs> I'm embarrassed me in front of my friends, Kelly. Do you think Cupcakes gonna remain his street name? Yeah, because all the dancers have a street name. Shrimp, Turbo, Cupcake, Cupcake. Special K. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that squeal? <laughs> Special K. Any good dancer has a street name. That's when you know they don't think you're that good of a dancer is when you get named after flakes. It's cereal. Christopher McDonald's in Babe, her. you're missing it. He's gonna, he's gonna seduce her. Take more than talent. <laughs> Takes more than talent. You gotta be tough. You definitely look tough, Franco. Look at that haircut. God, I love 80s movies. The haze that's over the whole thing. That's like Michael Pomisano. Oh, he does. <laughs> Michael, we found your... Uh, found your doppelganger. Your doppelganger. It's Franco from Breaking. Breaking Franco. Did you hear him? He said, caress me. Caress me. Gross. <gasps> okay. What non are you doing? Non-consensual. Award winners, don't push brooms. <laughs> oh, yeah? Why don't you go out and sweep, man? <sighs> Uh -oh. oh, snap. Turbo's got skills. Tony. Name's Tony. Oh, sorry. You know, it's funny, this is all before Chris Angel, so back then I'd be impressed. <laughs> hey, Turbo, did you finish sweeping up? Yeah. You sure? Yeah, you want to come see for yourself? 
All right, man. Look at that cup right there, man. You got the dirt, man. Put you under. We eat you and spit out the pieces we don't like. Yeah, what dude's gonna put you under? You already said that. Friday night. Be there. Bring your girlfriend. Cause she's gonna need a shoulder to cry on. <laughs> you gonna need a shoulder to cry on. <laughs> I'm gonna chew you up and spit out the pieces I don't like. I'll put you under. Put you under. Put you under. Well, Kelly, these pictures are very good. You're very photogenic. You want to get serious about your dancing? Shooter! Pulling out the mullet. It's funny that she and Shooter have the same haircut. So Kelly goes to see this agent, played by Shooter McGavin from Happy Gilmore. And it just kind of looks like he's up to no good also. It looks like she's surrounded by three grown dudes who just want her for her body. Some people love you for your body. I eat pieces of crap like you for breakfast. You eat pieces of shit for breakfast? No. Oh, so now she's wearing wigs to yeah. auditions. You were excellent. Unfortunately, we're looking for you. Short brunette. Just take your wig off. Blonde brunette. If they're looking for hair, why don't they look at gorillas? Now don't let it get to you, Kelly. Longer legs, shorter legs, punk hair, no hair. Shorter legs, long hairs, punk hair, short hair. Just need a whole new life. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly. Kelly, it was only the first day. There's nothing to be discouraged about. Is she petting a dog? If you need anything at all, you just give me a call, okay? I mean, that's what I'm here for. By the way, I'm feeding my Cocker Spaniels and oh, slices of cheese, in case you want to know. Ooh, look at these jumpsuits. Those actually look like they would be trending now. Ice tea! I don't know that I've ever seen him in a context that wasn't law and order. All right, so we got another dance battle. You guys wanna? Then come and get it. Man, is it slamming. Oh, <laughs> snap. Whee! I'm you mixing it up. a friend in a dance battle. Oh, they just did. We're in trouble now. They got served and left. So did Omarion. Remember, did. They had, remember that somebody betrayed him? I never saw the movie. And they taught the other, he taught the other dance crew what Omarion and his crew were gonna do? I never saw the movie. You guys were really great last night. They were just watching the girl, not the dancing. Our friends Orlando and Turbo lost the dance battle. So Kelly shows up to their house. What is this, a basement? Their shed? I don't know. She shows up and says, hey, look, I'm better than that girl. I can join your crew and- Well, I'd burn any girl that put her face in front of me. Oh, that's sexist. She ain't no street dancer. She knows nothing about what we do. Is it just me or does Turbo just seem randomly like really mad at Kelly for no reason? Why is he, like there's a She's lot of- She's an outsider. Why is he all of a sudden mad at her? Mm. Please tell me this is gonna be a montage. <laughs> Dude, are you okay? Make me feel this way. Let me mad. <laughs> Were you being the bird? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so Dang. Man. That's pretty Street dancing belongs on the street. It won't get you to Broadway. They put more heart and soul into their work than any dancer mm. I know. Yeah, they dance for seven bucks. It's real. It's fresh. All I'm saying is... James, come see for yourself then. We're going against Electro Rock tonight. This time we're going to cut him bad. We're going to cut him bad. Meaning cut a rug. <laughs> okay, I'll go. <laughs> okay. You talk me into it. <laughs> Maybe you're a little overdressed. Don't worry about it. Come on. He wore a suit. It's all I own. The guy on the mic is not singing. <laughs> oh, good catch. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at the guys in the back. What do you think he does for a living now? I think he's retired. <laughs> Shooter's feeling it. He's like, yes. This is an okay time. Whoa. Here comes Kill. Backflip. Backflip. Twisty flip. This is a dance competition, not gymnastics. Yeah. Yeah. You just got served. Sucker. Who decides who wins? Hey, kids, we're back. Looking prettier than ever. My buns were hurting. My buns were hurting my hair. Yeah, and then they're like... It's pulling my hair and they're like, I don't even care. It's they're like So to catch you up to speed, Shooter really liked the dance. Yeah, Shooter really liked the dance. He was like, this is so cool. They wanted to go get out of there, go to the diner or whatever. And she was like, ah, I came with Shooter. Well, I came with James. So now Orlando. Yeah, he was laying in bed pouting. And she's trying to convince him to like take their act to the next level. Mm -hmm, but he doesn't want to, he doesn't care. I don't care. I got everything I need. I got everything I want right here. These hubcaps. 
My mustache. These outfits are so dope. Look at that trench coat. Would you care if I dress like that all the time? No, I'd be super into it. I love anything to do with the 80s. In fact, I think we should reinvent ourselves and just dress head to toe 80s all the time. Absolutely. Dang, Dang. little boy, got it. He looks like Eric Estrada when he was five. What do you want? I want to talk to you. I don't think we have anything to talk about. That's a sensible beach outfit. It put us on the stage and laugh at us because we don't have the right credential. Because we don't have shark teeth in our ears. I don't think I can take any more dancing. Like, they're really good and all, but it's too much. Everybody kisses Kelly without her consent. Yeah, woo. <laughs> James is finding a really hard time finding gigs for them because of how they dress. He doesn't like the studded belts and shtangly He things. doesn't not not like them. They don't not yeah, like them. Yeah, they, whoever the collective they are. So he gives them a penguin makeover. Is that how they're gonna get on stage? And then they're gonna go like this. <laughs> Something like that. Let's find out. So he got him an audition for some big production. Hey, is that Franco? Mm -hmm. He got a perm. <gasps> Is he gonna sabotage their audition? We seem to have a problem here. I'm very much afraid they won't be able to dance. And why not? Because I don't think they'll fit into our particular production. Who's next? Ozone. Heck yeah, Ozone. You show sideburns who's boss. You're right. They're taking it off. Jim, get them out of here this instant. Wait a minute there, Doc. These people got moves. She's doing backflip. Oh, no, wait a minute here. Looks like maybe these kids have moves. I do say so myself, I do say. All right. All right, that's it. We had a deal. You asked for it. I am out. Franco goes off and bouts. <laughs> no fair. Whoa! I've never seen that one before. I feel like the emotion they're showing in that hug is disproportionate to how hard they work. Is this the big performance they auditioned for? Oh, they created a Broadway show based on street hey, dancing. Hey, that's pretty cool. Oh, we got it. <gasps> Kelly's back, babe. Oh gosh, Look Kelly. Look at my Catwoman. She has a wedgie. Who doesn't love a wedgie? Good movie. My first thought is I'm a little disappointed that it wasn't really a bad movie. Like it was just, you know, it was very 80s and very dated, mm -hmm. but for the time period where it, when it was created, I thought it was pretty good. The movie was <coughs> focused on the dancing, not necessarily the story. Yeah, there was way too many like super long dance montages, but overall, I mean, I didn't laugh as hard as I did at Teen Star Academy because it just, there wasn't as much to make fun of. Mm -hmm. And I wanted the, uh, there to be more of a Com uh, uh, conflict. Yeah, the conflict was anticlimactic, as was the resolution. Yeah. It wasn't even a fight. Well, guys, that was breaking the most 80s thing I've ever seen. I am <sighs> obsessed with anything to do with the 80s, so I'm probably going to watch that again on a rainy day. What about you? No. What do you rate it out of 10? Uh, six. Hey, well, that's good, because Teen Star Academy, he rated a negative six, right? Yes. All right, guys, well, thanks for uh, tuning in to another episode of Dollar Tree Date Day. Dollar Tree morning. Brunch. Dollar Tree brunch. Bye. Peace out, dude. Peace. He's one of those young men that spins around on his head. <laughs> Correction, Carol, he spins on his knee. Some say in love, Woo. it is. <laughs> hey, he just did that move that I impressed you with when we were 12 at Tony's wedding. Oh, yeah. What? I know this song. <clears throat> Are you okay? <laughs> When's the last time we had fun dip? I just pour all that. <coughs> oh my. Wasn't doing anything. A lot of butt Conflict. shots. <gasps> if this is a dance battle, I'm gonna be so thankful. Come on, show us what you're capable of. See what you're capable of. Come on, man, let's get out of here. But since we're all here, why don't you show us what you've got? Show us what you're capable of. 
Oh, hey, dang, them country boys ain't having it. They say, look at them freaks over there, they got feathers in their hair. Please have a dance off with the hillbillies. No, he's gonna drink, spill his drink on him. Oh, dang! Turn into regular old hillbilly fight at the burger shack. <laughs> well, I was thinking uh, that maybe. I was thinking maybe you wanted to play with my earrings. I think you wanted to speed bag my earrings. Everybody will bag on us if we back down. What are you worried about? Oh, we're up this uppity little place. What I tell you, by the way, Jean Claude Van Damme never came back. I like wedges. I'm blossoming.